So, BU is going to be playing Quipiac today, and uh, kind of want to talk about Celebrini. You know, and the comparison between the NCAA college hockey division one in comparison to juniors. You know, Connor Bedard was absolutely phenomenal for the Pats. And juniors has some phenomenal hockey players that go on to be successful NHLers. But what Celebrini has done against older competition in college at the age of 17, I still think he's 17, 32 goals, 32 assists, 64 points, 37 games at this point, is extremely impressive because college hockey, and I don't know if I'll get flack with this, in my opinion, just because of the age, just because I do feel there's good competition. I think college hockey overall is Division One NCAA. More has more skill level than juniors. And that's not to say there's not amazing talent that's come out of juniors because, I mean, Jesus, name the legends. So many legends have come uh, out of juniors. But uh, the NCAA, you can't shake a stick at. Some great hockey, very entertaining hockey. Yeah, my, my, you know, me, myself, I'm a Boston College Eagles fan. So, you know, this is an honest question you can have. Is it more impressive what Celebrini has done in Division One, where you're playing guys 18 and some up to like 24, 25. I actually knew a guy <laughs> that played at Brown that was 28, but that's a whole different scenario. But you're playing against young men. Um, it, it, do you feel what Celebrini has done at Division One is more impressive than what Bedard did? Now, if I had to say an answer right now, I think Celebrini's competition was far more difficult, but Bedard put up absolute bonkers numbers. Um, you could say the same, though, for Celebrini. What he's done at a point-per-game pace is ridiculous. But uh, is college more difficult than juniors? Do you feel that playing Division One hockey... Sorry for the win. Division One hockey is more impressive than juniors. And in that conversation, I would say Division I, college hockey, the NCAA, is a lot more difficult to play in than juniors. Because juniors are playing with guys pretty much the same age. Yeah, you have some overages for overagers year to year. But I think with, with college hockey, at least in my personal opinion, you're, you're playing young men. Men that are starting to go, come into their own and really... I feel, while it's not a massive gap, I don't want to make that seem like that. I'm talking about this huge gap between. But I do think there is a noticeable difference in play. And I think Division One, you're going to be challenged in far more difficult, different ways than you are in juniors. At least in my opinion, when I watch the games. Like when I've watched junior hockey, really good games, really good talent. But when I watch college hockey, um, you know, in my opinion, just I feel like it's a bit tighter. It's a bit more disciplined, um, just in my opinion. So I'll kind of bookend the video. You know, my opinion, I do think college hockey is diff more difficult to play than juniors. But I would understand if someone had a completely different opinion. He's like, well, look at these legends like Crosby. Uh, gone there and had an amazing career when he went from uh, was the Oceanic. So I, I, I'm not really even hating if you view it the other way. I just, in my personal opinion, watching Hockey East for years and years um, and seeing in comparison to uh, juniors, I do think there's a, a different level in college hockey. And I'll close out the video asking this. How good will Celebrini be? How good will he be? That's the honest to God question. Will he be... Will he have as easy as a transition as Bedard has had? You know, he's had some ups and downs, but Bedard's been phenomenal in his rookie year. Will you see something very similar for a player like Celebrini? Or, might it take a little bit of time? Might it take him a season or two to get his feet wet? I mean, we've seen prospects that it takes some time. Get used to playing against grown men. Bedard is using his skill set to the best of his capability. And I'm excited when he keeps growing and gets stronger. 
But we're seeing guys like, for example, first overall pick, Lafreniere. I, I don't think anyone was saying he was like a generational type talent coming up, but he was a very, very good prospect. We see him having a career year and he keeps improving. And it's taken a little bit to get going, but you know, for Lafreniere, five on five, discipline, you like what you see. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. It is a gorgeous day out though, gorgeous day out. Um, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. See you in the next one.